hello guys welcome to prof 1yt channel so with this video we are going to talk about double integral double integral so with double integral we have two type of double integral but with this video we are going to do the normal double integral right so let me explain this using a question so we have this question that is the double integral of r which is equal to the 6 xy squared da and they gave you a condition which is r which is equal to 2 4 n times 1 2 so with this how are you going to solve this using the double integral now note that the r represent these numbers so with this number this represents the x interval and this represent the y interval so the da can be expressed in any way of your choice so depending on the choice that you choose so let's see something so when you're arranging this let's try to arrange it we have one two six x y squared now whether the, the x value start with two and end with four and the y value start with one and end with two since we are starting this represent the x value and this is the y value when writing the dx and the dy you take your time you start from the inside so this is y so dy and this become what dx then when you are done you're going to take it one by one and you solve so let's take it one by one and solve so with one by one now we know how we did this right so let's go so now this represents what this was what uh, we know that this was two and this was four and this was um one and this was two and this become what dy and this is what dx so now let's solve it. When solving it, you are advised to solve the one in the middle first. So the one in the middle goes with the y. It means that we're going to solve this partially. That's it. We, we are going to integrate it partially with respect to what? Y. So when you are doing that, you get the integral of 1 and 2. When you do this, you know that you're going to get plus 1, right? So you are going to get 6 when you do it. So let's integrate it, right? Now that means that this is going to go away. So we are going to integrate it. So we are going to get 6xy cube all over what? 3. Then you are going to do it with respect to 1 and 2. So when you do this, you know that when you are doing it, you are going to get an estimation of 2y cube. So you are going to put the value inside from 1 and 2. So first you put the 2 inside minus the 1. And when you do it correctly, you are going to get a value which is, when you put the 2 inside, you are going to get a value and that value after that you're getting the value you're going to use that value to solve for what x right so you getting this you're going to put it out you're going to get four because with this you are trying the whole idea was that we didn't wait to the y so at the end we should get it in what in what x so you're going to put this value in the what the y are you getting it yes so when you do that correctly you're going to get 14 x the x this is what you're going to get. So you're going to get 14x the x. That's when you put these values inside the y. You're going to get 14x the x. Now, after getting 14x the x, then you come and take this integral. That's integral of 2 and 4. And then 14x the x. So when you get this 14x the x, then you are going to integrate this with respect to x. Then put the values inside. And when you do that correctly, you're going to get 84. That's the easiest way to do the double integral. So first, you must identify the dx and the dy. It depends. You can interchange this and also you can interchange this. So when I bring one, uh, 2 and 1 here, it means that dx will come inside. And when I bring 4 and 2, it means that dy will come here. And you are going to take it one by one. Then you what? You integrate and you get the value. So at the end... You're... So this is the second example we are going to do here. <clears throat> so with the second example, we are supposed to find the double integral of e exponent x over y da whereby d is what they give us the um the interval of d so with this we need to read the interval of d and understand it and represent it on the integral sign right so what you do now is what you do now is you must first look at the interval so with y y start from one and end with two and with x it starts from y and n is what y cube so now let's go to how we represent this so with this how you represent it depends on the style you want so many people can do it anyway so depend on what you like 
so let's go so now we're going to represent it so with this let's represent the y first and after the x so let's try double integral now with the y it means like starting from one and ending with what two and the x is starting from y and ending with what y cubed then we express the function given to us now i with the previous video that's the first example that we did i told that when representing the dx and the dy you check from inside which interval is this this interval represents what x so it's what dx and which interval is this dy so this is how we can represent it now after that we are going to solve the one in the middle so we are going to solve the dx first you know that the x goes with what y so let's go normally when they give this questions type with this you solve the one with the unknown variable first so you're going to get y y exponent 3 e exponent x over y dx then when doing this you know that from integration when you are asked to integrate ax it's the same as e ax over what a so we are going to apply the same thing here so we are supposed to do that we know that this is x right so from this we can write that this will be equal to y y cube and this can be expressed as what y exponent d exponent negative one dx so we are doing with respect to x so this will go to one and to left with this so at the end you're going to get e exponent x over y all over one over y right i hope you understood that because this is 10 to one and we're going to divide by this so represent the e s is one then you can express it as what e exponent that is you can express that what y e exponent y over that is x over y because you can bring this one up then you will put in the values you're going to integrate with respect to that so we are going to put the y cube inside when you put a y cube inside you're going to get it to be y cube over y which will give you e exponent y squared right because y cube over y will give you y squared because you are replace, uh, replacing it um that's it. you are replacing the intervals with x then minus we put y inside when you put y inside, you're going to get y you know this will be y over one so you get e exponent to one then when you get this you're going to take the integral from one to two y e exponent y squared minus e exponent e one now with this dy right because we are going to take it with respect to y which is this interval now after getting this one with this you can use the calculator to do it very simple as very simple as that yes you can use your calculator so um check the screen and see how it is done so you can see the screen and see how you can use the calculator to do it